Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Layla here. And today I'm doing the six fan art challenge. And this is pretty popular on Instagram and the concept is pretty straightforward. I asked you all on Insta and on my Facebook page to give me character suggestions and I choose six of them to draw fan art of. So I actually already did this and posted it on my Instagram, but I didn't record the process and I was so mad at myself for not doing so because I had so much fun with the first one. So I felt like doing a second one and this is that second one. In my first one, I did Barley from Onward, Nessa from Pokemon, Pan from Dragon Ball GT, Spinel from Steven Universe, Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, and Wicked Lady from Sailor Moon. So if you're interested in seeing those characters, check out my Instagram. So there were a lot of suggestions that I received and I tried to stick mostly with ones that I knew I'd really enjoy drawing as opposed to just going with the most popular one being asked for, which was pretty much the trend that most artists were doing. But I wanted to just more so have fun with mine. <laughs> so this first character I'm drawing here is... Hello Kitty. I've been absolutely obsessed with Hello Kitty for forever. All my school supplies one year were exclusively Hello Kitty. That's how crazy I was and still am about this character. So this was an interesting one, mostly because I wasn't sure how to go about it. My original plan was to sort of make her into a human girl with white hair and pigtails with the iconic bow on one of the pigtails, but I didn't want to remove the character too far from its original idea. So I stuck with a more chibified anthro furry look. <laughs> I don't know, but I've actually already shared this one with my Insta followers a few days ago. And I was like, hey guys, is this cute or not? Nah? Cause I don't know. And for the most part, the reactions were pretty positive. I even had someone say it felt like Hello Kitty meets Animal Crossing, which definitely made me feel 10 times better about the end result of this piece. It still feels a little weird, but regardless, it's my take on Hello Kitty. Next up is Ian Lightfoot from Disney's new movie Onward. So I saw this movie when it first came out on Disney Plus because, you know, quarantine and all. And I loved the characters so dang much. For the first six fan art set, I drew Ian's brother Barley Lightfoot and it was a pretty big hit. So naturally when I asked for more character suggestions, Ian Lightfoot was a super popular one. And of course I figured I should complete the pair by drawing him too. I think my biggest struggle with this character was his nose. So in the movie, he has a fairly large nose, so much so that I feel like I should have drawn it bigger in my version. But every time I kept tweaking it and messing with it, it felt like I was just losing the essence of the character. And then the size of his head in comparison to his body was another issue I was having. The character is pretty thin and small, and so I edited his performance proportions quite a bit, trying to just get that correct sort of feel. And I don't know, that can just be so hard sometimes. On one hand, yes, he's real thin, but I don't want his head to look ridiculously humongous. I still want it to represent a proportional humanish figure. And I just kept getting this orange on a toothpick sort of look in the end. Eventually though, I feel like I figured it out. And once he was finished, I felt really satisfied. I'm actually gonna see about posting him with his brother Barley on my Insta in their own sort of separate post. But as far as the movie goes, I liked it. It's funny though, because I actually love the characters so much more than the actual story. The story wasn't bad, it was good, but there were parts that I felt seemed a little dry. The ending was nice too, but it wasn't the most thrilling. Either way, I do recommend watching it because it was adorable and the characters were very memorable. And next we have Bra or Bulla, depending on which version of Dragon Ball GT you grew up on or watched. I'm a massive DBZ fan. I started watching the series when I was in grade school and it was super addicting. I loved all the fights and the journeys that Goku and his family and friends would go on. And my favorite character at the time was Gohan. And even though 
though they were female characters in the show, I remember wanting so badly for a girl character or fighter in the show to come along. And it was awesome when Videl did, but she was basically a human, which nothing's wrong with that. But I guess I just really yearned for a female Saiyan sort of character. And I was pretty bummed about it not happening in DBZ. But then I found out about Dragon Ball GT. And eventually there are two Saiyan girls, Pan and Bra, who had powers and could fight. And being a young, impressionable girl at the time, I clung to those two characters. More so Pan, who who I drew for the first version of this challenge. And I wouldn't say Bra was a highly requested character. Really only one person mentioned her, but as soon as someone did, I was like, yes, I'm gonna draw her. And I think the only downside to Bra in the series is she's not really much of a fighter at all. I'm not even sure if there's ever a fight scene with her in it, but regardless, I do love the idea of her and the possibility or potential of being a fighter because she is the daughter of Vegeta and Bulma. So I feel like she's got a whole lot of fight in her. And the next character we have is one that I was really on the fence about. I thoroughly enjoy drawing humans more than I do alien type creatures, but this little alien dude is so cute and I really couldn't pass it up. Baby Yoda is the next one. Star Wars is also a franchise that I grew up on. I have an older brother who was absolutely consumed by the original Star Wars from the late 70s, early 80s, and he used to collect the action figures and keep them in their boxes and display them on the wall, and that's how obsessed he was. So I can't really say I'm a fan by choice. I grew up in the 90s, lived in a household with only one TV and one VCR player, and my brother was older than me, so of course I endured watching Star Wars probably a good few thousand times as a young girl. Over the years though, I've definitely grown to love it a lot and I really, really like the new trilogy that just ended like last year, I think. And I do find the new series, The Mandalorian, to be pretty good too. Obviously, I died from the cuteness overload of Baby Yoda, who was pretty much the highlight for me for the entire series. So I really focused on a super cute chubby face with big eyes and big ears and his iconic cup of coffee or tea or whatever it was he was drinking. Can't actually recall. But my take on him though is definitely one of my favorites on this one. Next up is Garnet. But definitely not the usual style. So a lot of my followers on Facebook and Insta are huge Steven Universe fans. And I am too. So doing a Steven Universe character for this is basically a given. Of course, in my first challenge, I drew Spinel. So someone requested Garnet. And I've actually drawn Garnet quite a few times in the past, so I wasn't too crazy about drawing this character that I'd already drawn a lot of again. But it then struck me that I'd never really drawn Garnet in her first form. So basically, spoiler alert, but of course Garnet is a fusion between Ruby and Sapphire and her first ever fused self was super pretty. I loved the idea of her design of being a fusion but not having yet mixed together. So half of her hair is blue like Sapphire's and the other half is pink to sort of represent Ruby. And she has half her top being Sapphire's princess puff sleeve and the other half is Ruby's outfit. And just everything about the character is messy but beautiful. So when it came to her hair, I added my own sort of touch of loose curls just sort of springing out to really just make her look disheveled. I also like that it's one of her designs where we get to clearly see all three of her eyes and their different colors. If you haven't seen Steven Universe, you gotta watch it. It's one of my favorite cartoon shows that really touches on just inclusivity while also piecing together a really beautiful story of just love and redemption and change and it's just so good. And lastly, someone mentioned Kida. Again, not a popular request, but Atlantis is a Disney film that is just so underrated. I could honestly write an essay on why Atlantis deserves so much more than what it got, but you know, I'm not gonna get into it. Or maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, Atlantis is such a great movie. If you haven't seen it, it's also on Disney Plus right now. Go look it up. 
and watch it. It's so good. I'm really hoping they do a live action of it too. But I really enjoyed drawing Kita's sort of haphazard hairstyle. It was the most fun part of this character. It's honestly like someone took an ax and really hacked at it. And I know it sounds like I'm dissing the style or being sarcastic, but the truth is I just, I really actually love it. It's super interesting. It has all this different length and it's pale blue or well, white really. And I just really love it. She also has these markings on her skin. All of the uh, Atlanteans have these weird markings that glow and I just really liked that. So I really tried to focus on making the marking on her cheek to sort of glow. I'm not sure if it's as bright as I was hoping it to be, but I did have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> and it's definitely an inspirational idea that I've used on my own characters when creating them. I also enjoyed the idea of their crystal that they wear being their source of power and stuff. And the movie is just really good and I don't want to give too much away. I feel like this entire video is actually pretty spoilery. So yeah, maybe I should probably reel it in a bit. <laughs> but anyways, Kita was a fun character to draw and I hope the person who requested it really likes my take on her. And that's basically it. All six characters. So we've got... Hello Kitty, Ian Lightfoot, Bra, Baby Yoda, Garnet, and Kida. Got a lot of Disney going on in here. Like, I just realized half of these characters are all Disney. So, if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.